So I found this really cool painting at the thrift store. It was like three bucks. And it has this scene, a mountainous scene with a cottage, some trees and things like that. And I was really just drawn to it and I wanted to 3D print some things to make it kind of pop out 3D art, have some dragons circling around the mountains and things like that. Um, but the more I looked at it, the more intrigued I became because it has this inner lip close to the painting and not at the edge. Um, and it's about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch high. And I thought that would make a really great uh, skirmish battle map. So I endeavored to turn this painting into a battle map. This is my journey. I took some quick measurements. I figured out um, how many tiles I would need and what size tiles I needed, and away I went. First I cut out my pieces on dollar store foam board, and then I cut out some double corrugated cardboard for the backing on them. After that, I stamped the hex grid pattern onto the foam core, and then I glued the foam core to the cardboard backing. So before I glued the foam board to the cardboard, um, I made sure to remove the backing because it comes off way too easy if you just glue uh, if you just glue it on with the with the backing paper on there. Uh, the backing paper will will come apart from the foam and then you'll have to re-glue it anyway. So I took all that paper off and then glued all of the pieces onto cardboard. If you like the song that's playing in the background, uh, I named it for my wife. It's called Jody P. Loves Me. Um, yeah, it's, it's the song that plays in my heart when I think of my wife. So you're going to see on some of these tiles coming up that some of the hexes have been gouged out. Uh, later on, I'm going to fill that up with a greenish blue epoxy resin and uh, I'm going to turn those into like water tiles or swampy water tiles. Now that I've got everything glued together, I want to hide those ugly side gaps. So I wrap them in a little bit of masking tape, uh, cut the corners once I get it wrapped, and then lay the excess flaps down in the back so that they're not showing on the front. I also make sure that I don't uh, go up over the lip of the front so that it's not curling or anything like that on the top piece. I'd like to take a second and say, making these videos takes a lot of time and effort to produce. Um, if you're enjoying my video, please take a second and smash that like button. I'd love to have you as a subscriber also. Now that everything has been taped off and looks good, I'm going to hit it with a coat of this um, Mod Podge with a little black paint mixed in. I got this idea from Jeremy at Black Magic Craft. Thank you very much. It works amazing. Now that everything's been thoroughly coated in Mod Podge, I take it outside and I hit it with a nice coat of forest green paint. I 
really wanted my water tiles uh, to pop and and I wanted to have you know, a nice color so I went through and I painted all of the gouged out areas in white so that it wouldn't be quite so dark when I uh, added the resin in later. Now at this stage I'm just going to do about a medium dry brush with a lighter color of green. It's like a really light lime green. I just want to make that hex pattern pop. I would like to thank my wife for donating her old makeup brushes for this. You can see how the dry brush really picks up on those ridges and and really just brings out the hex pattern in that uh, in that tile. You can really see the difference it makes when you set them side by side. So when I got done dry brushing everything, this is what uh, this is what it looked like. Not bad, not bad, but there's still a little bit left to do. Still have to pour that resin. So yeah, now it's time to dress up those edges a little bit. So I'm gonna hit every side with a really nice thick coat of black paint. Now that we're all done dressing up the sides, this is what we have so far. The only thing we got left to do is pour that resin in those swampy tiles. All right, so this is the part I've been waiting for. This is the acrylic pour for the little um, water tiles. And I got this stuff, uh, Nature's Touch pre-mix pouring acrylic from Hobby Lobby and it's like $6.99. Stuff is amazing. It was fun to work with. It was super easy. There was no mess. Um, so yeah, this, this part was amazing. Not sponsored by them, but this stuff is awesome. I can see going back getting some reds, oranges, yellows, and doing some really cool like lava tiles or, you know, uh, volcanic tiles, something like that. Ooh, I might even go back and get some brown ones and do some like mud pits or I could uh, get some uh, some tan ones and sprinkle a little bit of sand on top of it and do quick sand tiles. I mean, this stuff is amazing. I can see using it for a lot of stuff.
Okay, so here's a couple of shots of the final product. I think it looks pretty good. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, I'd like to give a big shout out and a thanks to my friends Sam and Andrew. Uh, Sam did a lot of the cutting on this one for me and Andrew stamped all of them uh, and also gouged out the ones that needed the water, uh, the water feature. So, super big thanks to those guys. Appreciate everything.